My name is Edgar Cage, and I am a member of the Vestry of St. Patrick's Episcopal Church. Thanks for the opportunity to allow me to share with you my thoughts about stewardship and where I get my motivation and guidance. Stewardship started with our creation. In Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the heavens, and over all livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created us in his image and likeness, and I believe that image and likeness is love. It is God's greatest gift to us and ours to God and our neighbors. John chapter 3 verse 27 says, A person can receive only what is given from heaven. Though God's love and mercy, we are given opportunity to receive and achieve many things. Things that are not ours but God's. And we are allowed to use them as we are directed in 1 Peter chapter 4. Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. We have been given divine instructions on how we should use our time, talents, and treasures, which are gifts for God, not for ourselves, but for the glory of God and all his creation. I would like to now talk about St. Patrick's, our church and what I see as my duty as being a good steward. I love being a part of St. Patrick. I love the service, the parishioners, and the unlimited possibilities for us to serve God, each other, our community, the state, and the world. We limit ourselves only by what gifts we are willing to share that God has given us and instructed us to share. We can engage in more ministries and outreach in our community with additional resources. We are all aware of the needs, and understandably, we may not be able to take them all on, but I feel personally, I can and will do more and hope you share my sentiments. For where our treasure is, there our hearts will be also. That's Matthew chapter 6, verse 23. I ask you to join me in discerning with the Holy Spirit to guide us on a path and a course that we can fulfill what God has challenged us to do. We all have been blessed tremendously, and we can share these blessings to better our efforts and ministries at St. Patrick's. I pray you share with me the love of the gift from God of St. Patrick's and the desire to show this love through increasing our gifts of time, talents, and treasures as a sign of acknowledgments of this blessing. When we go to a restaurant and receive good service, we show our appreciation by tipping accordingly. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. If we feel we have been truly blessed and God has been good, we can show our appreciation accordingly. After all, it is God's and to God it shall return. Thank you.